say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question for part A. Draw the reflection of triangle T in the line y equal to negative 2. In this question, we are dealing in transformation of object to image. Now, this question is asking what is the image of the triangle T which is shaded here. The first step in solving of a problem here is by drawing the line y equal to negative 2. And here it is. And the next step is by finding the vertices of the triangle T one by one. We are dealing with the first vertex of the triangle T here. And this vertex that are pointing here is 1, 2, 3. 3 units away from the line of y negative 2. So the image of this vertex will take 3 grids from this red line. That will be 1, 2, 3. It landed here. And this vertex, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 units away from y equal negative 2. So we count 5 from it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is landed here. And for this vertex, it takes 1, 2, 3, 3 units. And we count 3 units from the line y equal to negative 2. 1, 2, 3. So it is landed here. The last step we need to take here is by joining the three dots by using a ruler and pencil. Here it goes. Now, this triangle that label in the red color is in fact an image of the triangle T that shaded here. So this is our solution of the question for the part A. Question 4, part B. Draw the enlargement of triangle T with scale factor 1 half and center of enlargement negative 5, negative 3. The first step is to spot the location of negative 5, negative 3 as the coordinate of the center of enlargement. Now, the next step here is by joining each of the vertices of the triangle T to the center of enlargement that we have put on a dot here. We are now using the scale factor of one half, multiplying the length of the horizontal for the triangle T, which is four unit here, and the answer that we get is actually 2. So, the length of image of triangle T is in fact 2 units. From the linings here, the only way that we can get 2 units is in fact over here that I have shown. And what about the height of the triangle T when transformed to its image? That would be, we are using the same one half as the scale factor multiplying the height of the triangle T which is originally at two units. So we are getting one unit. And this is the answer where the height as one unit for the image of the triangle T where we produce here by drawing the line here. So we just have to connect the third line here and it produce the image of the triangle T that we are aiming to get at. Part C of the question 4 is the last part of our question here. It reads as, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle T onto triangle A. Now the first thing to spot up here is to find where is the coordinates of the center of transformation. Here is the answer. This is by means of rotation. If we draw a line from the same vertex to the center of the rotation, it's actually producing 90 degrees. And this is a right angle. 
that is the reason why we can confirm that negative 1 0 as the coordinates of the center of rotation by looking at the diagram the transformation from triangle T to triangle A we can be pretty sure it is by means of 90 degrees anti-clockwise and now we have to conclude that this is a rotation by means of 90 degrees anti-clockwise center is negative 1 0 and that's the answer thank you thanks for watching and please subscribe